Hi, I'm Elizabeth Galvin. I'm the curator of the African Rock Art Image Project here at the British Museum. Rock art can be a lot of different things. It can be paintings, engravings, or other types of art that's expressed on a rock shelter, a cave wall, or even a boulder out in the middle of the desert. Rock art can be any size. It can be a really small, little, beautiful engraved figure that's about this big, or it can be a over five meter tall giraffe, such as in Niger. Rock art can depict anything. It's as diverse as the continent is itself. It can have human figures, it can have animals, it can have geometric figures, symbols that mean something to that culture. It even can serve as a historical record of what was going on around them. We have an amazing example of a European ship that was painted in Southern Africa uh, by an indigenous community there. It's hard to know why people created rock art. It might have been for their belief system, it might have been for their own culture, uh, it might have just been boredom. But one thing that's really interesting is that people take these symbols and motifs and adapt them to their own culture. We know that rock art was practiced over tens of thousands of years in Africa, and when people came by and saw these images, sometimes they changed them, sometimes they co-opted the symbols and painted them elsewhere, and sometimes they just wanted to recreate it. I've always loved rock art because I love to look at it as an extension of a group's material culture. I'm an anthropologist, not an archeologist, so I like to look at the symbols and meanings on rock art and match it with what the historical record that we know was going on there at a certain time. What you're able to do is really see how people express the world around them and not only just the importance of what is depicted, but the skill and artistry of what is there is truly humbling. But what's also important is to record these digitally. Instead of just going out and collecting the pieces of rock, we're actually leaving them in situ. So they're still out there, but what we're able to do is take a photograph of it and create a record of what this rock art looks like now, not only to compare it against previous photographs we have, but to preserve it for future generations. I'm a curator with 25,000 objects, and they're all in my office, sitting on a hard drive. Check out our website for more information, exciting interactive maps, 3D models, and articles all about rock art, how it was made, who made it, and where it's from. And make sure to subscribe to the British Museum's channel. Thank you.